Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to learn about Bootstrap lists. Lists are a very, very important feature of any web application. It will help us group the data which are related and similar data in a proper way, uh, either in terms of, let's say, uh, a list, a numbered list or an unordered list, whichever way you like to use it. Bootstrap have designed classes and utilities which will help us to get jump start on listing faster. Let's learn all about it in today's episode. This is part 11 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out so you don't miss out on any tutorials. So far we have uh, explored a lot of things in Bootstrap like grids. We have seen navbar, cards. Today we are learning about Bootstrap list. If you have missed out on any of the previous episodes, I request you to kindly go through that so you have a continuity in learning. All right, so let's talk about Bootstrap 5 list classes. So Bootstrap has a main wrapper class around list, which is called list hyphen group, right? And then individual items can be grouped with list hyphen group hyphen item. Now we can add a content, any kind of content. We can add text, we can add links, we can add images, we can add videos, any content that suits your application. We can also highlight the classes are active or not, whether they are disabled, they are active, etc. Let's see this in action now. Let's go and open up the documentation. That way it would help you to learn how I'm doing it from scratch. So go to docs, then click on list. Right, so you have the uh, list group, that's what it's called, right? So now you take a basic example here and see it says UL list group, right? And each element inside it can be grouped using list hyphen group hyphen item, right? So this is how you get the basic list. But if you scroll down a bit, you can active, make it active or disable. Let's see that now. So copy this code, always never, never, reinvent the wheel friends always take the help of bootstrap documentation it's beautiful it will help you to get things faster okay so we have the bootstrap list copy the list here now go to our application and refresh it you will see a bootstrap list by default it's 100 percent so it's taking the entire width of it but you can always customize it into a rows and column and give some here I'm going to say div class equal to call four right and similarly we can copy it three times so we have a grid of row column of four each take it here put it here copy paste and list can be used in any any sort of data that you want to arrange right so now we have three lists arranged here all right so now let's make something as active so if you want to make this active, just add the class active and here if you add it, it will become active. So let's see that. So see whichever one you highlight will become active, right? Similarly, you can make them as disabled by just by adding the keyword active and disabled, right? So if you see here now, so see now, this is disabled, right? So let me show you that by removing active here so because it's overriding that value. Okay, uh, which is it? Disabled item column three. Okay, so you see the difference between the font here. This is black, this is light gray, right? So that's why it says it's disabled. Now, similarly, you can add links like the example shown here. You can have um, a list of links that you want to have right so that also we can have easily so this is a link now you see it's clickable you see the cursor so it's now clickable so you can have a list now see it's a ul li but here we are adding a list group item action to a anchor right so that's how you can use uh, links inside the list group now similarly you can have these are the different types of um, contextual classes which are nothing but primary secondary etc to make it colorful background right so if you take one of these and just add that class go here and check it out now you see it's gray because I added secondary 
so if I add warning it will become yellowish right so you can have different contextual colors to your background that is yet another use case now go through it you can use badges along with the list right this is mostly what you see when you log in into your social networks you see messages so copy this let's see and customize that so let's customize this here we can say messages friend request friend requests and we can say inbox right so you see the numbers now and you go here and you see messages are 14 friend request is 2 and inbox is 1 so these are some of the common use cases that you would see of list group right now we are noticing that we have limited content but you can also have long content like this which has its own heading and then group heading and then body of it right so just copy this again go here and keep practicing these friends because the use cases will be different with different contextual applications right so here it makes sense to have a single word or small text here you need a group heading and you need some kind of details similarly if you don't want it active you can give remove it you can give some contextual class that you want right so these are various um, implementations of bootstrap list that you can try it out um, maybe in a in a one or two episodes we will start doing some live project where we will club all of these features to show you how a real website is done try it out do drop me any questions or comments that you have in the next episode i will cover about bootstrap tables and then we will do some live projects thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode of bootstrap 5 full tutorial series